in terms of cognition, you know, let me just ask uh, three questions. Why is it that we keep getting blindsided by risk? Why does this happen? Secondly, what does it lead to? And thirdly, you know, what can we do about it? I think the second part is what does it lead to? Uh, this is even more important. What it leads to is what Nassim Taleb in his book Black Swan calls Mediocristan versus Extremistan. It is a very interesting analogy if you look at uh, the nature of uh, economies, companies and industries. What we are living in is uh, in a winner-takes-all world. Uh, where in any industry you would see that uh, maybe you know there are just three or four players uh, not more than 10 or 20 which are uh, right at the top which account for most of the volumes market share profits and uh, that is you know not in consonance with uh, mediocristan which is where everybody kind of uh, tends or centers towards the mean what is the implication of this uh, my friends for the finance community is very very serious the implication is that all our risk modeling has typically been done on the premise of mediocristan, which uh, I think you guys would better appreciate if I start calling it the bell curve or the normal distribution. So all the risk analytics, all the risk measurement is happening on the basis of the normal curve, the bell curve. Whereas if you look at it empirically, economic distributions, whether it is wealth, income, sales, revenues, profits, you know, you take any metric which is financial or economic in nature. Uh, they do not follow the tenets of the normal distribution that has been empirically observed and proven many times over. So, is it a case that uh, whatever modeling we have been doing or, you know, whatever risk metrics we have been following, studying is all wrong? I think uh, there is a strong case to say that, yes, it is. And we are making assumptions without realizing that we are making these assumptions and proceeding with our lives. And that, my friends, again goes back to why does this happen, which is the system one and system two way of thinking. So the, the reason why we accept all this and do not question it is because we are just used to the system one mode of thinking or the fast way of thinking where we do not question what are basic assumptions and which are uh, quote unquote uh, truths uh, that are in front of us. But it's very, very important to go back and question everything and to understand firstly, what are the assumptions behind some of the things that we are doing and adopting and following? And are those assumptions even valid? So that's the second part of cognition.